So solving the question we have on the board solution. We go on. An electron jumps from energy level to another in an atom radiating 4.5 times 10 is to power minus 19 joules. 0.6 times 10 is to power minus 34 joules second. What is the wavelength of the radiation? So what are the parameters given to us? Parameters given to us. Let's check out the parameters. An electron. Okay, we are given E, right? Check up. E is given. What else are we given? Our H is known. Okay, we know C, right? Okay, we do not know our wavelength. We know there's a formula that says this over this. Am I correct? Yes. So we are to make lambda subject of formula. So lambda over E. So we have 6.6 .6 times 10 is to power 34. And C is 3.0 times 10 is to power 8. And then E giving to us 4.5. Who is helping us? Please punch your calculator for me. Final answer. 4.4 times 10 is to power what? Minus 7. And the unit is meter. 4.4 times 10 is to power minus 7. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so we're done with that question. So we go to question number two. So before I solve number two, is there any question? Can I go? So I find online. This is energy quantization. We already doing calculation on it. So let's solve number two. Solving number two. So we have the question goes thus. The question says here now, the, that's question two. An electron moves in a vacuum between two electrodes having a potential difference of 3000 volts. Calculate the velocity acquired by the electron if the ratio of its charge to mass is, is what? Okay, it's so 1.8. Okay, so this formula, we need to remember that we said that, that electron volts is equal to kinetic what? Energy. So electron volt therefore is half this. So this is Volt, why this is speed or velocity? So, is this one they are asking us to find now? Are you following? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. we have two electron volts MEV square. So, V square is two electron volts over ME. So, we have Velocity equals the square root of electron volts over. Uh, let's see. This is electron, this is volts, and this is mass of electron. Now, but the question says something here. It says that the electron to mass ratio should be taken to be 1.8 times 10 raised to power what? 11. So that is something over. Like my friend, you understand? Yes. This over this. C over kilogram. But in, in, in case you are not given, in case you are not given this kind of thing, know that the mass of electron, who knows it? Is what? 9.1. 
times 3 to the power 31 kilogram. So, in case you're not able. Now, so let's go and solve this question now. So we have 2 times 10 is to power 11. We already know this, right? Yes, sir. Then the votes. 3,000 votes. Please, somebody should help me. What's the answer? So we have a 2 multiplied by 1.8 exponential 11. Then we have 3000 there. So we have 3.2 9 times 10 to the power 7 of meter per second. That's the final answer to the question. So I'd like to solve one more question before we call it bye-bye to energy quantization. So students want to believe this is very clear to you all. So let's solve the last question. Thank you. Okay, students, we're looking at number three question now under the energy quantization that we're considering. Number three question says that calculate the frequency of the photon whose energy is required to eject a surface electron with a kinetic energy of 1.97 times 10 to the power minus 16 electron volts if the work function of the matter is the so for my general formula of Einstein photo electric what emission? I'm sure you still remember that. Yes, so we have the kinetic energy is given to us. Um, what's the kinetic energy there? One point nine seven times ten to the power of minus sixteen. Nine what? Seven times ten times ten to the power of minus. is in electron volts. Then what about the other one? The work function 1.33 times 10 raised to power minus 16 electron volts. So H what F? The energy of the photon. Now, which is easier to convert this to joule now, or let's have a, a single value before converting it to joule? Yeah? Single value. Okay, so it's 3 times 10 is to power what? Minus 16. You got the same thing? 3.3. .3. There's nothing attached to it? Okay. 3.3 times 10 to the power minus 16. But well, let's remember that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So HF is 3 times 10 to the power minus 19 times 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19. We are converting it to joules. We have 3.0 times 10 to the power minus 19 times 10 to the power minus 19 over H. Planck constant. Planck constant. So we have our F. Please give me the answer now. Times six. Um,
answer to the question that we have just solved now. And in case you are wondering, what did we do? The first thing we did was we recollected about Einstein photoelectric emission, which is the E equal kinetic energy plus work function. And then we are given the work function. We are also given the kinetic energy of the photons. And then we also remember that E is H multiplied by 3.6. And then we made frequency subject of formula and look at what we got at the end. So in case you still have any question, you are at liberty, drop it in the comment section and then it will be attended to by tutor Yomi. Till I come your way, I remain my humble self, Yomi. Thank you. Bye.